Looking for a big house that won't break the bank for 415 or under? Today's house is just that. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, fashion rules and today's video is sponsored by Nick Long of AmeriFirst Home Mortgages and MLS ID 398963. Guys, I am back in Haines City showcasing a beautiful builder model. It's four bedrooms, three bathroom, about 2,380 square foot. It's two story with a really big room downstairs which could be used as a master and then you have the actual masters upstairs. So let's have a look. The first thing you're gonna notice is you get these beautiful pavers up front and you also get the pavers at the back. It's a two car garage front load. And as I walk around, you have a little walkway but you get the pavers all the way through. And now with this house, it's with the builder, the price that I quoted you about 415,000 is inclusive of everything. I'll tell you more once we go inside, but what I really like is the walkway. Whenever you have a house that has a little bit of a walkway, I really love that rather than a house that just kind of starts where your garage starts. So I love that you have that little walkway coming in. And I also like that you have this little covered area that kind of really come handy, especially because it rains just like crazy. And these days, everybody receives packages from Amazon, FedEx, or whatever it is. It's kind of away from the rain because they can just drop it here. It's kind of a little bit protected, not all, but at least something better than nothing. So let's go inside and check this beautiful builder model out. Hello and welcome to another beautiful builder model. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa, this is a great resource. Press that thumbs up button, show us some love because we bring you about eight plus models every single month. And if you're not sure about which area to live in, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. That's where I kind of go into all the nitty and gritty of a community or a suburban area. We talk about schools, hospitals, shopping, dining, everything that you need to know when you are relocating to any of the suburban Central Florida or Tampa areas. So make sure you check that out on YouTube. It's called Orlando Living with D. And guys, today I am back in Haines City showcasing this beautiful house. Now I'm going to point out some of the upgrades in this house, but pretty much what you see is what you get with this house. It, this house only has very few upgrades and the price that I go to you about 415, depending upon the lot and all that, this is all in your base price, your little bit of upgrades in it, you know, uh, everything is in there. I will mention a couple of upgrades that this house has, but you can get this anywhere between 410 on the lower side to about 415. And this is an inventory. Uh, the builder is paying up to $17,000 in closing cost and prepaid help. They are also giving you everything, your washer, your dryer, your refrigerator, uh, dishwasher, microwave. So it's all in price. You know, and homes within a certain price point is getting very, very difficult to find. So this is a really nice house. It's in one of the most uh, developing suburban areas here in Haines City. You're about 30 to 45 minutes away to all the major things. Like you are probably about 45 minutes to about 50 minutes on the expressway to the airport. You're about 30 to 45 minutes, depending upon the traffic to Disney and everything else. So as I walk in, you have this eight foot door, which is actually a standard. Your ceiling height is about nine foot. And as I walk in, these are the tiles, which is actually standard. So you will have these tiles. So you don't have to upgrade, it does come. And then when I walk in, you have this open space, you know? So this is something that you are going to have. The upgrade is in regards to these double doors that you see. Now, this is something that you can always do that later. And guys, I always say this, if you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, I suggest that you do that. Now, this is considered a den because it doesn't have a closet space. So whenever you have a room that doesn't have a closet space, it is just considered a den. However, you can easily convert this. It technically won't be a bedroom because you need a window and the closet space, but it could be converted into a functional, you know, you can make it into a formal living, you can make it into a gym area, or actually most people that I know will make this into an office space. The only thing that I'm gonna suggest is if they had the extra light, because this is all you get, you get this one light, and if there is an option, which probably would not be the case because this is an inventory spec home, 
they won't give you any design center options or anything so it's basically this is it but you can always add the lights later on you have this nice window bringing in a good amount of light now this community does have a cdd and a hoa hoa is only about twelve dollars a month and they don't have much other than the two dock parks they have like uh, and, and i was actually talking to the sales guy so why two dock parks I said we have one for small dogs and then they have one for big dogs so that that's pretty much what they have also the cdd is about 179 dollars you have the 12 dollars for hoa so it comes about 191 dollars a month so just keep that in mind now just to answer your question because i've gotten this before CDD is basically a kind of a tax which basically the builder either pays for it up front so your base prices are higher or if it's not paid up front your base prices are usually lower but this is a tax that actually stays with the property for the next 30 years and and it's just you just have to pay that so that is something for you to keep in mind uh, if you have any technical questions like this please make sure to comment below i'll be happy to help but as i walk in you have this nice little foyer kind of a area you know so the house doesn't really start so you have like a little walkway and then over here you have your laundry room and look at the size of this laundry room it's pretty deep you have a good amount of uh, space right there. Uh, you have your washer and dryer, and this is an upgraded washer and dryer, but you do get a washer and dryer with the rack. You can always get the, uh, you can always get the uppers if you want, but the good thing is that it does come with a laundry chute, hallelujah. So you have that whole laundry chute up there, so uh, you can always have a basket and you, you can throw all your linen, all your clothes, and then it becomes easy rather than to carry them around. So as I walk, the whole house kind of opens up and this is where you have your family living you know you have the tv place right there you have a covered lanai obviously it doesn't have the lot of extra lights which i am a big fan of because it's really nice and bright today so it looks so uh, bright however we have days where it would be just dark because it just rained but that's florida for you you're going to have a beautiful day and probably in the next hour it could be raining like no other tomorrow. But what I like is you have a window, a window, and then a big window over here with a semi-private dining area. Now, personally speaking, I, I love when you have a space like this because when I have friends and family come over, I don't want a formal setting. I want them to mingle with the family. I want them to do whatever I'm cooking. I'm watching TV, watching my voice, and we're just sitting there, just kind of, it's, it's more kind of, you know, it, it's more inviting, it's more welcoming, it's more combining. So that is something. Now, this is the regular size of your island and this is a granite. What I've been told is that they have two different choices. You have this one and then there is a different color, which I believe is a, a stained brown color that they have. And then in terms of your uh, cabinets that you see over here, they have this one. And then the other version of that is a gray one. And that's the only two choices you have. You have your range over here you have the dishwasher and then this is the 60 40 sink you get and then you also have the refrigerator now this may not necessarily be the same refrigerator but you do get a refrigerator um, I, and i do believe it's a double door refrigerator but i am not sure because there's been so many logistical uh, or or i guess supply chain issues that uh, it has been challenging and i know most builders are actually not giving you anything they're just giving you the dishwasher and then the a microwave and then your rain shirt because that is needed for the code but other than that they're not doing but good thing about this is that you you see how these things kind of curve now i have two small boys and this is good because it doesn't have sharp edges so if you have a uh, like i have small kids and one of my boys is just about this height and you know how kids are they're just running around not looking at anything and they can kind of run into it so it's like a little dangerous thing so i'm glad you also have your closet or, or you have your pantry closet right over here um, so pretty good space but the good thing is that this is the pull out doors and I can't tell you how much I love it after being living in a house that has those uh, those doors that kind of splits in between and every now and then kind of falling on me but this is something that I really love so let me come around and show you the covered lanai which is a good space if you look at it and you do get the pavers over here the thing is that you're going to have this open space like this now the lot size is about 50 by 110 which is deep enough to build a decent small pool and uh, this is a two-story home so the pad of this house is a little smaller so that you, it's not too long so you have enough space to be able to build a pool and then they have a really nice big home 
Uh, one of the changes in this specific model is that they have a door outside leading to the bathroom. However, in the newer inventory home that they have, they actually have a door not only from outside, but also inside. So let me go ahead and actually take you to this bedroom first and look at the size of this bedroom. Isn't that amazing? Like look at all the size. This is a really nice big, like dude, you could literally use this as a master suite if you like. And it's very rare you will find a house that has kind of two masters. What I've been told is that in the newer ones, they're gonna actually have a door right here that will lead to the bathroom. So it kind of makes it a suite. So let me actually go ahead and show you the walk-in closet space, which is quite comfortable right here. But the good thing is it kind of goes around the staircase cavity and it's really using that space good. So it's all carpeted. And then this is the standard carpet that you actually get. And then as I go outside, you have the, the bathroom downstairs, which is a shower tub combination with the tiles going up to here. You have the transom right there. And if you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, please go ahead and do so because that's where I cover what you should be doing. So you don't, if you do have that opportunity to go to a design center, you don't end up spending a leg and an arm or an arm and a leg, however they say it here, uh, a lot of money. You're only spending the money where you can get the biggest bang for your buck. So you have your undermount sink with the granite, same color count, uh, uh, downers over here. Um, so it's, it's really nice. And then as I walk, this is something that is actually inclusive. And I, what I really like is if you have a small pet or this could be like a little mud station, because I've seen more and more builders doing something like this. So that is something that you could, like it already comes with it as a standard. So this is a standard. However, this is not a standard. This is just a decorative piece right there. So just keep those things in mind. And then you have your two car garage here. Now this is a builder model and they're using this as a construction office. So I obviously cannot go there. And the other upgrade in this house is related to the staircase. It has the wood flooring. So on a normal inventory home, you will actually have the carpet that will lead you all the way up. And that's where you have the master suite and the secondary bedroom. So let's go upstairs and check rest of this out. So as I go upstairs, the first thing I always want to mention is the ceiling height. And uh, you know, a lot of people want to make sure that the ceiling height is good enough so it doesn't feel like the house is kind of caving in. So you have an eight foot ceiling height with a six foot, six, four foot doors, which is a pretty standard. This is where you have your master. You also have this open area, like a loft area, which is really nice for the square footage that you have, but all the rooms are pretty good size. So let's go inside and check out the master bedroom first. So as I go in, you have this really nice big room. You have a lot of windows. And one thing good with this builder is they always make sure that you have a lot of windows. You know, it looks like nice and bright. The only thing that I would definitely say in the master bedroom, because it's a big room. And if you don't have like a, if all you have is that light, right there it probably would not be enough at, 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 in the evening hours so I would definitely recommend a, maybe a big uh, chandelier or maybe not so much a chandelier but something that kind of brightens up the place a little bit more or just have extra lights if I have that option to do but what I like is that they have this little cavity like a little sitting place and if you have a, a kid that you're nursing it's not a lot of space but it's still enough if you have a small dresser to kind of have your crib and then you have your uh, your main bed right there. So maybe still have some room. We'll put that in, the, in, in your comments below what you think of that idea. And then you have another window and then you have a walk-in shower, which is a framed walk-in shower. Now, this is actually a standard Everything that you see in this house is standard. So this is what you get in terms of the flooring of your master bathroom. And you have these standard tiles with the transom. The only thing is, you know, I have seen with some builders, they'll do this all the way or they'll have some sort of a, a wallpaper, which actually covered a builder in Tampa and they do a very good job. They actually don't have the tiles all the way up, but they have different uh, uh, wallpaper that looks kind of really, really nice. But the good thing is you have the double sink with the undermount, same color cabinets, and then you have a really nice, good size 
walk-in area like look at this walk-in closet pretty good you know decent uh, this is my spot i know i try not to say that but i guess so one day my wife will get the point and then what you see over here this is actually just an entrance to the attic over here so that's just something that you know so let's go out to the water closet that you have you have a door pretty comfortable in this in the amount of space that you have and then as i go outside you have the other bedrooms i'm going to pass the loft area now guys when you give us a call i do want you to know that you're going to be talking to somebody from my team whose job is to basically get the information and then kind of connect you to the right agent on the team who is an expert in that area so either you'll be talking to me or somebody from my team who will assist you in the process and what we also do is we make sure that we want to do a zoom call with you so you we can put the face to the name you already know what we look like but we want you to put the face to the name basically show you the backside of things especially when you are moving from a different state hey i'm thinking kissimmee i'm thinking davenport i'm thinking lake nona dr phillips we can actually show you on the map itself and we can do a live search so that is why we do that and you have a good 30 to 45 minutes and some of the meetings go to an hour so it really depends so when you actually come down you're coming down with confidence that all the homework that needs to be done is done so when you come down you have a purpose it's strategically planned in a way that we're not just showing you every home that's available on the market we're showing you something that fits your need fits the criteria fits the budget and you are spending the day with us and and what i'm also going to do because i have a lot of testimonials from clients who have actually flown down and we have taken them out and i'm going to start putting those testimonials also so that you can see when you come down this is what you expect this is how it's going to be when you're working with our team so let me go ahead and show you the other room and my sons are just going to absolutely love that because that's all they do all day long i have a spider-man right there i don't have a captain america there yet but i have a hulk so i have a hulk and the spider-man and depending upon what time of the day or how their day is going and how what things my my kinder my actually first uh, first grader learns He's just going to bring it down. Okay, I'm a Superman or I'm a Spider-Man and then it's it's just crazy, but that's another story. So you also have this pullout. So this is a closet space that kind of, it's a little thin, but it goes all the way. So it's pretty standard, uh, you know, nothing major. Uh, and as I go around, these are the closets that I was actually talking to you. Like, I don't really like that because half of the time this kind of falls off. But you know, I love that they have a little cavity. I would have just, uh, hope that they only had that pull out because that's what they have throughout the home and that would have made more sense but hey it is what it is and then let me go around and show you the other bedroom wow it is a beautiful pink one of the things that I love about my job is when I'm showing properties you know I love the way they decorate things like look at that it's just pretty simple and guys don't get carried away don't get carried away with these things these things are something easy that you could do it yourself you know what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you have the house that fits your criteria fits your budget it works for you everything else could be done the other thing i will also tell you is that don't get carried away with the square footage because i have done homes that are just about 2000 square foot but it's well planned and the flow of the house is just there and i've done home which is just huge with a lot of dead space so just keep that in mind so you also have the pull outs over here similar to the one in the room same amount of space because it's right um, you know it's it's right behind the other closet so it's pretty much the same amount of space and then as i go out you have the other bathroom right over here which is a shower tub combination you know with the similar kind of pattern you have the same kind of granite over there with the undermount sink and then the downers let me know what you think because in terms of the price for this property in this area is pretty good you can get this house with pretty much everything that you see of course minus the furniture and the personal belongings that you see over here as a decorated piece you can have this house from anywhere between 410 to 415 uh, there is a cdd like i mentioned and an hoa they both are about 191 dollars and it's in an area that is kind of just growing there's so much construction happening but also i want to mention quickly that the market is not going crazy as it was before the prices on the resale have come down however with the builder i'm not seeing the prices come down but i am seeing the incentives go up because before just a couple of months ago uh, builders were doing like a thousand two thousand or three thousand dollars now they're doing in some cases twenty thousand in some cases even forty thousand with this builder it's about seventeen thousand but then they're also giving you 
all the appliances and everything else. Well, let me know what you think of it. And if you are looking to buy, and if you are on the computer just typing things up, make sure to let them know you have an agent so that you can be represented. We don't get paid by, by you as such. We get paid directly through the builder. We'll be happy to help you. Me and my team are here to serve you. Until the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.